the mainstream media, not here, the real media scene, the dinosaur media of coverage, Kim Kardashian and some other crap. We are Team San Antonio, occupied Bilderberg 2012. OccupyBilderberg.org. We are here with Mark Dice of the Resistance. He's a well-known author. He wrote the Fact and Fiction, Facts and Fictions books. A great line of books exposing the Illuminati and the history and the, the Facts and Fictions. Glad to be here at Bilderberg 2012. This is historic. Everybody who's here is a hero making history. We've already got some mainstream coverage. My voice is already worse just from yelling. So exhausted from flying in last night, getting a couple hours of sleep, crashing in this dump of a hotel, <laughs> desecrating the bar before the Bilderberg group were to go in. Getting thrown out this morning by noon. And so we are here to let the Bilderberg group know that we know who they are, and we are spreading that message far and wide. I think this is their last year of being secret. I, I think that this is the year their secrecy is gone. They're going to have to come out of the shadows. That's why most of the mainstream media will cover this protest, will cover them this year, to try to maintain this phony aura of credibility, to try to appear that they are credible and on the cutting edge of news. A decent amount of people outside. Major so, predictions. Like yeah, there's been sources inside. Independent journalists, Jim Tucker and others have sources inside Bilderberg that leak information that then comes true. But almost all the time, what they say, Bilderberg, what their Bilderberg sources tell them, they have secretaries. Maybe there might even be some moles within Bilderberg group that realize they're a bunch of scumbags. So they give inside information out to a couple people, Jim Tucker, Daniel Westman, Alex Jones, and others. And so we know what, what Bilderberg Group says is coming down in the next few months, next few years, usually comes down. And the masses can stop it or slow it down or disrupt it. But these are the movers and shakers. These are the world shapers, man. What they say usually comes to pass, or at least tries to, until it makes the light of public and then it, it seeks the resistance. People start resisting it and, and protesting against it. Well, you know, one thing that we're seeing right now is we're seeing a miserable failure in the world. So Well, they don't, I, don't think, I don't think they brag about it, maybe privately amongst their members, but yes, the Bilderberg Group did found the European Union. Again, it's something that should be done out in the open, in the commons, in the halls of Congress, over there in Parliament, where they want to get the American Union here, the North American Union. That, that's something that needs to be discussed out in the open in Congress, not in private meetings. That's why they're violating the Logan Act. They are negotiating and discussing foreign policy in secret, in private, public officials with private citizens, businesses, European royalty, and so this is a clear violation of the Logan you know, I, I think I heard that somebody was fined for that. Didn't somebody uh, get fined for that? I heard rumors that Hillary Clinton was fined for violating the Logan Act years ago. I haven't been able to verify that, but those rumors are going around there. I just don't know. I haven't verified it. Okay, and, and of course, there's a lot of people coming on camera. brainstorming session, but do you think it's important for people to, to focus and remember about the policy of keeping it secret over the last 15 years as they try to take this new line on? With YouTube and with the past cover-ups and Lou Kardowski's confrontations, phone calls into the mainstream media and to Sean Annie, Michael Savage, Glenn Beck, and others, Rush Limbaugh, we have verifiable proof that, that for years, decades, really, they have denied it, ridiculed anybody who say, questions what they're doing the importance of the group. So, yes, we must hold them accountable and never forget that they were the ones that blacked it out, ridiculed us for years. Us just ordinary citizens, independent journalists, alternative media, and now we are on, they are admitting that we are on the cutting edge. Well, one, one classic phone call uh, into Sean agenda on his desk. Well, just a few days ago on our trip up here, we are in San Antonio, uh, we called his show and he uh, hung up on us immediately saying that uh, our member of the was a secret. So how do you go from having your agenda on your desk to all of a sudden somebody's a psycho for the nation? I called Sean Hannity in 2009, you can get this clip on YouTube, and he said he just didn't know about it. And I, and I said, I wasn't mad about it. You know, I was very nice when I called him. I said, I said, hey, you know, with all this uh, economic turmoil going around, uh, and people looking to point blame, you know, can you tell us the importance of the Bilderberg Group? 
and he hung up on me and said, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You can you can hear that call on YouTube, okay? I called into Michael Savage a couple years ago, and he said that they weren't important, and I was 100% wrong about what I was claiming about the Bilderberg Group. That was in 2009. Now this year, you can find this clip on YouTube, somebody recorded him saying Bilderberg owns the White House, the media, and crashed the economy. So Michael Savage took a 180 degree turn from ridiculing people, saying that it doesn't matter, it's not important, to now that it's, it's not that he didn't know, it's just that he is he's syndicated by Premier Radio Networks or the big syndicators. It's in their contracts, man. They can't talk about these certain things. Sean Hannity, Glenn Beck, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Mark Levin, they're all syndicated by the same syndicator that's owned by Clear Channel. And so they can't talk about this. Their producers tell them, don't talk about this. But now, this year, 2012, you may hear them talking about it in the future because of this and alternative media making it relevant. We are changing the culture from the grassroots up, and they are scared to death. Well, you know, and I agree with you. It seems like these are uh, acknowledgments hey, and concessions hey guys, by the mainstream media. Hey guys, because quick announcement. There, there is hey, a quick announcement. knowledge hey, and awareness about this, and people hey, are quick calling on the shows. Hey, They're doing everything they can to spread the information because it does affect our bottom line. It's the way that we live. It affects gas prices and hard gas wars. They're mad because we It's been a great interview. This is Mark Dice. We're going to keep it fun here. MarkDice.com, D-I-C-E, Facebook, Mark Dice, YouTube, Twitter, a bunch of You can actually find my call. On YouTube, if you want to listen to them, get them on marketplace.com. What's your latest book out? Uh, Big Brother, The Old Wall, Your Nightmare Come True. I've authored a bunch of books. You can get them on Amazon.com, Kittle or Nook if you want to go. Mark Dice, thanks a lot. Thanks. My name is Fox Team right here. Yeah, that's what these guys said. They said. Info Bomb Bilderberg 2012. Brought to you by We Are Changed Texas Hill Country. We Are Changed San Antonio and Truth Exposed Radio.